In this video, we're going to learn to import Stripe subscriptions into Airtable. The first thing you need to do is to go to the Airtable app marketplace and install the free data fetcher app. Once you've installed it in your base, sign up for a free data fetcher account or sign into your existing account. Then click on create your first request and for the application, select Stripe. We then need to authorize data fetcher to import data from Stripe. So click on new Stripe connection and this will take you to Stripe where you can select an account to pull in subscriptions from. So make sure that account is selected and click connect. And this will create the connection and take us back to data fetcher with that account selected. Then for the endpoint, select list all subscriptions, change the name to fetch subscriptions and click save and continue in the bottom right. Then you can add a filter for the collection method um, used on those subscriptions or the creation time. You can see some time options here. I'm going to leave those off for now, so I'll get all subscriptions. Then check the output table and view is where you want to pull the subscriptions into and click run. Then click continue. And you'll then see a preview of the different fields that are going to come back on each Stripe subscription and a row or record for each subscription. So click filter all to remove all of them and then click ID so that that's imported and you can see it's mapped to a new field called ID and then you can import all the other fields that you want. So there's lots of different ones but I'm going to keep created which is a timestamp for when that subscription was created and we're going to see how to turn that into an actual date time in Airtable in a second and then I'm also going to keep plan amount. So I'm going to search for plan amount and you can see here I've got plan amount which is the amount as a number in cents um, rather than dollars so that's why it's a hundred times bigger than you might be inspected, expecting and that's the amount that that subscription is for and then I'm going to keep plan interval as well so that live would be month or year normally and that's what interval that subscription is for. So if you're calculating MRR, those two are quite useful to have the amount and the interval. And finally, I'm going to search for status and that will tell us the status of each subscription. And that's going to be mapped to a new field called status. So once you're happy, you've got all the fields you want. You can click save and run and data fetcher will create those fields for you in the output table and then connect to Stripe again and pull in 100 subscriptions at a time. So if you've got more than 100 subscriptions, it might take a few pages of data to pull them all in. And you can see here it created one page of 100 and then a second page of 40. So then click show output table and it should see your subscriptions in Airtable. And I can scroll down and see them all here. So open data fetcher again and open the advanced settings. And we need to set an update based on field and we want to set that to the ID. So the update based on field should be a unique field that data fetcher can use to match the subscriptions that come back from Stripe with the subscriptions in the output table. So that if you move records around or a new one was to be added to Stripe or there's a difference, data fetcher can use that to match them up. So once you've set that, click save. And finally, let's see how to change that create to that timestamp into a created that date. So insert a field on the right called created that. Change the type to formula and enter the following formula. Date add 1-1-1970 created, that's our created field from Stripe, and then seconds. And what that's going to do is convert it from a Unix timestamp to an actual date time. And you can see with the formatting it's got a date and a time. And if you want to get that formula without typing it yourself, you can go to the blog post in this video description. So that's it. You can see we've pulled in all the Stripe subscriptions. And if we wanted to schedule that, you can upgrade to a paid data fetcher account and click schedule this request and set a schedule here.